<clears throat> hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is call me bell how are you all doing so okay before i continue please if this is the first time you seeing my face please subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share and if you've been seeing my face and you, if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button and subscribe like the video share the video let me know how it helps you and if there is anything you could have added to the video please let me know in the comment section so today i'm gonna be talking about how you heal from heartbreak the heartbreak doesn't have to be like you and your partner breaking up it has to do also has to do with you losing someone in case of like death or friendship falling out or break up and any any like and any other thing that has to do with your heart being broken not just relationship just pointing that out there how to heal from heartbreak how to heal from losing someone how to heal from you being disappointed at work just something generally that broke your heart and i asked people friends i posted it on my whatsapp status posted it also on instagram and i got some reply from from few people and together together with mine i'm gonna be talking about that and as i said earlier if there are other things you think i didn't talk about and that helps you to please uh, put it in the comment section so first of all i would say time heals everything and sometimes you may not really get to that point where you forget about it totally even after years but that pain you feel at the beginning is not gonna be as painful or it's not gonna hurt that much compared to compared to how you felt at the beginning so time heals just give yourself time like that's one thing i want to throw out there and i'm very spiritual everything that i'm going through i believe god is able to do it god is able to heal like he's a great healer and he can heal anything not just sickness god can heal heartbreak too and um okay i'm just gonna talk about like how i heal before i start reading about how other people heal so for me i pray to god i call on the holy spirit that okay this thing is so painful i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i believe you can do it i believe with you and with time i won't feel this pain anymore like i call him holy spirit see i'm talking to you sometimes i place him in front of me he's my friend he is a person and you can speak to him, you can talk to him, you can laugh with him, you can connect with him, you can gist with him. So I put it in front of me and I'm crying like I said my friend because that's the only person I know I can confidently cry in front of. There is no shame. I can like I cry, I cry my eyes out in front of the Holy Spirit because it's just the two of us. I can be very, very vulnerable with him. He's the only person I can be like I, I can be vulnerable in front of. So I say, Holy Spirit, heal me. I can't do this on my own. This thing is breaking me. This thing is killing me. But I know with you I can do it. I know with you and with time I can get over it. But before then help me go through this. So I pray, I cry sing and cry in between there is nothing i do i don't cry but one thing i make sure i do and i think you should also do that is eat ah you must eat there is no time where i was crying where i did not eat it got to one point like this actually made me laugh i was crying one morning i was crying one morning i was praying i was calling on the holy spirit the holy spirit heal me i can't heal on my own heal me please this thing is too much and in between i was so hungry i was trying to neglect the hunger that okay i'm in pain i'm in pain i'm in so much pain but i was so hungry i was like okay let me go and eat it let me go and eat because I need strength to cry this crap because I need to cry to my satisfaction. I was cooking my food. I was laughing. I was of pain. Is this one? <laughs> How can you be in pain and you are thinking about food? But we gotta eat. Like you, you have to fill your stomach with something. How can you be crying, crying, crying with an empty stomach? Please don't do that to yourself. Be like me. Yeah. 
your pain is valid your heartbreak it's it's painful but it's trust me food will go a long way because you don't want to start having ulcer because of heartbreak that would even make it even worse so eat and let me read a few things um uh friends told me okay let, let me let me start with my colleagues at work because i asked my my co-workers okay how do you heal from heartbreak any kind of heartbreak and i had like the most hilarious hilarious thing ever that I, I couldn't even think of or i've never thought of it so one said uh find new hobby yeah you could like think of something else you could do that like that made sense to me and one said drinking i i don't drink so i can't ask anyone to drink just because they're going through a heartbreak think about your liver but she said she goes she goes drinking like she drinks and gets drunk not just drinking she says she drinks and she gets drunk and on, another person said connect, reconnecting with old friends yeah you can start saying hi to old people but hopefully not to go back to your ex or go back to uh one other person that made you go through one heartbreak or the other i wouldn't advise you to do that and one other person said think about the downfall and make it positive and i think with the way i understood this was think about okay those things that would make you cry and try to be positive about it look about like the good side of it how positive that like should come about i think that's how i read meaning to that <clears throat> and one said like talk about it get a good support system if you have a close fr close friends you know you can be vulnerable with you can cry in front of you can say anything say it talk to people talk to family talk to friends talk to if it's a co-worker you're close with if it's someone in church you can talk to just talk and this is not only about heartbreak when it comes to you. my boyfriend broke up with me my girlfriend broke up with me or i am going through divorce it doesn't have to be that like just heartbreak in general talk to people and talking about it too helps even though for me it doesn't really help me maybe because i don't really get to hear what i think my spirit needs sometimes it makes me even worse so i don't like talking about it i'm talking about it maybe it's just a bad mouth the person yeah sorry do that i'm in pain so i think i should i don't think i should but yeah just like bad mouth the person or listen to another person bad mouth the person it's not really cool but it is what it is we're in pain so get a good support system and one one person said works a lot like she works a lot i guess keep picking up hours you need someone okay i'm here i can help like keep working don't stress yourself out because you're going to break up don't do that and one said like annoy friends i, I laughed when you said that just keep annoying your friends <laughs> okay and one said she threw a party okay i can imagine you going through heartbreak and you threw a party to invite people yeah i think it's to make it like connect with friends connect with people and trust me as at that moment you are not gonna think about your pain probably you would but it wouldn't be when as if uh when you are alone you wouldn't think about it um that much if you like just throw, throw a party and once and get a rebound okay i should have asked her do you mean like a rebound get another boyfriend look for another partner or just like go go mess around something like that because some people they're going through heartbreak they like they can't deal with it alone some people cannot stay alone i have a friend he told me i was like ah, you just broke up you just like you found a new one he said, yeah, you can't stay alone. I was like, okay, that means while you're dating, you have someone who was like, kinda, that is wrong. Imagine you, you you say, okay, you are with the love of your life, but you have someone, you're not really like in there, into the stuff, like too intimate or something like that, or too close to them. But you know, okay, if something were to happen with my girlfriend or my boyfriend, this person would be an option doesn't make sense so you not wanting to be alone i think it doesn't really make sense to me if you're in love with this person be with this person not like okay you just broke up and go and meet with someone else where will you have time to heal it is not to me it is not advisable after you break up heal on your own don't go and bring an innocent girl an innocent boy an innocent person just because you don't want to be alone you are going to hurt that person and trust me you are not healing because one way or the other you're going to be reminded about your previous relationship because okay this person is not like how this person is. you start comparing 
you start comparing you start comparing and at the end of the day it might not really work out it works out from people trust me it do work out for some people but you are not some people you don't know how yours is going to be like so you just go into another relationship to me it doesn't make sense and to me i feel you don't, you don't even like love value respect or really really uh you you're not really really into your previous relationship for you to actually move on that fast people move on really fast though but anyway we move <laughs> so she said get a rebound and let me see one said uh she will start working out yeah like get that body though don't get okay let le let me say this if you break up with someone and you want to do some things maybe to improve yourself don't do that just to make the other person start being jealous okay why did i leave this person no it's not coming out if you want to do something for yourself don't do it because of your ex do it because of you so if you are working out work out because you want to be healthy you want to feel good not work out because i want to like have this body to make my ex feel this way no you are not healing so anything you're doing for yourself you're doing it for yourself and not do it because of how you want the other person to feel so heal for yourself and not for the other person because the more you keep having them in mind trust me you are not healing so she says she'll work out and love herself more and i think loving yourself more will go a long way because if you love yourself you won't really like keep dwelling on the past just focus on yourself try to build yourself if it's to go to school get like a new certification or something do it it's for you girl it's for you guys for you whoever is listening to this video so do it for yourself and one said um solace in god's word also knowing you will you you will re, re, will reunite in resurrection so she lost a mom and like that's how she's able to like to leave after that knowing that okay i'm going to see her uh um uh, in resurrection she she's a christian and we believe in okay we are dead but we are not dead we know that yes at the end of the day as long as we trusted in god as long as we are saved let me use that word as long as we are saved we are going to be reunited with jesus and she's saying she's going to be re reunited with her mom at the end of the day and one said get busy yeah and I, I i would say yeah you can get busy it's going to take your mind off it but don't get too busy that you neglect yourself you neglect your body and you become sick because trust me you don't want to be sick while going through heartbreak that's the worst feeling ever and she said really busy or he said really busy bury myself at work Please be careful with that and uh, one said he's gonna think thoroughly about it and ask if what he's feeling is pain yeah sometimes I, I think I've asked myself that like what I'm feeling is it pain or is it this attachment was I in love with this person or I was so attached with him that I am having this attachment syndrome answer that question yourself so he said he's gonna ask if what he's feeling is pain he said, I will cry so hard in my safe space. Please cry in your safe place and not in front of people that are going to make fun of you, make jest of you, or later in the future, start talking about this or try to make yourself feel good that you went through this all because of them. Please do it in your safe space if that's what's best for you. And when I finish crying, I take my mind off it. Well, I wish I can do that because I said I'm going to cry and take my mind off it. Then the next day, I'm back again crying for the same reason. And the next day, I'm back again, keep crying for the same reason. But guess what? Time heals everything. And the Holy Spirit did his best too. And uh, uh, one other person said she's going to sleep, travel, uh, pray, read, and watch television. Go, girl, girl, watch some TV series. Watch something. Keep your mind busy. And one says she's going to do a complete makeover. Okay. Makeover. Cut your hair if you want to cut your hair. Dow the hair. Some get like piercings. Some get tattoos. Some just want to like, okay, it's a new me. I'm over this. Well, good for you. I hope you can. I wish I, I could do that like a complete makeover. Yeah, because I feel if I'm doing it at that time, I'm doing it for the person that, that left but if that would make you feel good 
please do it this is your healing we are talking about don't even care as long as it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna hurt anybody who is legged out and it's not like out of god's words or something i would say go for it do it that's what's best for you so do it let me see okay i wrote here love yourself do not start proving anything especially on social media be true to yourself okay i don't know how many of you like you watch some status some people start on social media you be like okay they just broke up with this person <laughs> so my god have become like motivational speakers like and trust me if you're going to break up i'm talking from experience if you're going to if you're going to break up that's when you start seeing some bump ass motivational quotes motivational speakers motivational videos please do not post it do not post it because it's breakup that's what it's causing it's making you see things making you hear things please don't don't post it because people are gonna know they're gonna know ah they're gonna know they're gonna know <laughs> so be careful don't prove anything to anybody don't prove anything to the person don't prove anything just be true to yourself be careful of some motivational quotes yeah be careful not everything you see makes sense to you you post be careful and uh, i think I, I i wrote some things down let me read it i said um i said give yourself time if it's weeks if it's months go ahead like wait be patient pain is not something that disappears in days or in weeks but when it's like getting two months like after six months okay uh should i say pain okay pain and grieving and grieving like it differs with other people how you heal is not like how i heal like we have different ways we heal so look for yours look for what work best best for you you can get advice from other people and try to pick things you know okay this one is good for me i would i would go with this so pick so pick pick that like know that time heals everything do not rush it don't rush your pain don't rush your, your, your grieving and sometimes it feels you've you've healed like this thing also has to do with people that like that lost someone like a family member losing someone to death or to illness or someone like a healthy person now becoming disabled they can't do things on their own and the other person taking care of them they start grieving you think you're okay at a, at some point you've accepted everything but next thing you see yourself crying you see yourself grieving again so even when you've accepted it like the stages of grieving when you start uh, blaming other people you get angry you do this throwing temper tantrum then you accept even after the acceptance some go back to like the beginning it's normal it's okay don't kill yourself don't force it don't rush it be patient with yourself and uh, try not to blame focus on yourself I said that earlier and forgive yourself please forgive yourself forgive yourself don't hurt yourself don't beat yourself up forgive yourself because when you forgive yourself you can be able to even forgive that person no matter what they've done to you forgive yourself call on the Holy Spirit to heal you I've said that earlier stay away from the cause okay I'm not a believer of we've broken up let's be friends guy calm down stay on your own i don't want to be friends with you at least not now let me be let me heal and after i'm done healing you want to be friends come on i can be your friend like paddy paddy i'll talk to you as if nothing has even like happened between us i can do that but first of all let me heal so do not be close to the cause that's me cry when you feel like it don't hide your emotions especially to yourself you can hide it to other people fine maybe because you're not okay you're not like free to be open to them but to yourself don't hide your emotions in front of you when you're alone you want to cry 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 to your satisfaction it would make you feel better at least at that moment not for at that moment i know you would cry later but cry do not forget to eat i will not stop emphasizing on food eat your food don't stay hungry eat your food spend time doing what you love if you love reading if you love traveling as some people said if you love working out if you love music if you love taking pictures like me take pictures 
if you love watching comedy do that do do what you love and be positive see see yourself healing and speak healing you may think it's just rubbish okay i'm healed i'm okay it's may not you may not really see the result at that time but know to yourself like tell yourself i'm healing i'm doing well though i can't feel it but i'm doing well and uh go out see outside don't overwork yourself and i know some people said they would work uh, but this like what i'm really like am i uh like for me don't overwork yourself and i wrote pray 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 there is nothing prayer i cannot do even healing a broken heart there is nothing prayer i can, cannot do if you if you lost if you lost someone to, to death it's not your fault forgive yourself try to move on while thinking about that person but let it not become negative when i mean that for you thinking about suicide hurting yourself hurting other people neglecting yourself neglecting your body neglecting your health your work you disassociate disassociate yourself from friends from family from work that you can't do anything anymore don't don't do that so try to like be positive and love yourself do not okay i think i said that earlier so and i i wrote some things how you know how you know you've healed this is like i i, I didn't really ask this question but this is like me personally how do i know i've healed when i consciously or on when okay, consciously or unconsciously when i think about the cause or the person and it doesn't hurt anymore i know yes ah i'm healed finally i'm healed so when you think about that person well, like when their name come up or pop up on your head in your head you see a picture of them you see a video of them you hear, you hear someone talk about them and you don't feel any hurt like you try to like actually start to like try to think about it okay this is a person but i'm not hurt anymore i know i know yeah I, i'm i'm healed like i'm uh i actually uh started like i became friends with one on facebook i see the picture i actually see like a picture of him and his new babe i like it like it felt it actually felt as if it was my brother and i just like like i just encouraged him i see them i smile i know okay uh, girl you've healed so when you think about them it doesn't hurt anymore and when you can gen genuinely pray for them i'm not asking you to do that but obviously you've been you were praying for them when you were together as a family you were praying or as a partner you were praying but during the breakup you cannot even do that trust me you cannot do that let's not be too spiritual you cannot do that but after you've healed and you think about the person you, you start praying and their name popped up in your head and you pray for them you know that yes you've healed so that's one point and um when you are happy about their growth, their happiness, and their relationship, when you see them, even if you see them on Bella Niger, engage with the ring, and you're not sad, or you see a post of them and their new partner, and you are not angry, you are not bitter, then you know you've healed. And I said, uh, there may there may not be a total healing for those who lost someone so okay when it comes to losing someone it's really someone very very close to you yeah you've you're you've healed the pain may not be as like as much as it, as it was before but you still think about them and when you do it's going to break your heart but it's not going to be as how it was at the beginning i hope everyone heals from everything you're going through you lost a job for like some foolish reason and it's hurting you you feel you did something wrong yeah it's painful but after you've cried and all that don't beat yourself up just try to move on pray and know that yes something better is coming for something better is coming for me uh you you lost touch with someone you and a friend fell out first of all try to talk about it with the person if you want to give yourself time give yourself time if it's not working and you know this person was really close to me try to try to to move on if you like got a divorce and you you are still in love with the person but the person doesn't want to do it anymore try to move on 
give yourself time to heal because you will definitely heal trust me you definitely heal i cried everywhere at work driving back home driving to school everywhere in the toilet in the bathroom everywhere i find myself like almost squealing thank god for i thank god for face marks but yeah yeah we are yeah we are there is nothing god cannot do pray the holy spirit can definitely heal you don't forget to eat you must eat if you want to start trying different restaurants like try new food do that but trust me you're going to heal thank you for those who like gave me idea ideas on how they were able to heal i really appreciate that thank you so much please let me know if there's some things i said you're not really like okay with it let me know in the comment section if there's some things i didn't say to let me know in the, in, let me know in the comment section i really appreciate please subscribe to my youtube channel top below my, my youtube channel and there's anything you want me to talk about to so let me know i'll be very very happy to talk about it so thank you thanks for watching guys it's coming bell it's not coming bella or coming belle it's coming bell coming bell beautiful thank you bye